Vienna. A lot of German fans dreamt they'd make it here, but few believed it would ever happen. The Ernst Happel Stadium. This is where Germany will be playing Spain in Sunday's final of the Euro 2008. Hopefully I will cheer like crazy when Germany will beat Spain in the final, but also in football cheering you shouldn't forget your manners, especially here in Vienna where courtesy is very important. And the master of etiquette will tell me all about courtesy in football. Thomas Schäfer Elmeyer is a real gentleman and Vienna's leading expert on etiquette. He normally runs a dance school and opens the Vienna Opera Ball. Now he's come up with a special football guide to good behavior for the championship. Usually there's a dress code. If I go to the opera or if I'm invited to a party, I have to stick to the dress code. Is it in football similar? Well, in, at the soccer games, of course, you don't have to have the same type of dress code. There is no tie or jacket, but you should at least stay dressed, in my opinion. In football, there are a lot of emotions involved, so it can happen that I get hugged by somebody whose team gold, so how do I react to that? In principle you should patiently endure this hugging, but if you don't want it, you can always, oh my back is <laughs> aging, or you can take a newspaper for mm -hmm. example, have it in your hands, then usually people are not getting so close. <laughs> The Viennese kiss on the hand doesn't really suit Euro 2008 since the stadium atmosphere is not appropriate and it's usually not performed out in the open. But still we can practice for a change. You see the gentleman just bows over the hand, mm -hmm. whilst he's doing that he does not speak and the lady can enjoy this typical sign of special respect. says you must never lose control, but a lot of fans did just that over the past weeks. After all, the Euro 2008 motto is expect emotions. The most emotional moment for me was um, um, watching the people um, hugging each other, um, having fun together, not, no matter of nationality. What kind of moments do you remember? Oh, um, the, the penalties, the, the crowd screaming, the excitement, the anticipation when there's two minutes left to a game and someone scores a goal. It, it, it's just excitement more than anything. And being here during all this kind of craziness and seeing the reaction of the, of the Europeans that love the game and being involved in that is, is just an amazing thing. And I also experienced a lot of emotions on my tour through Austria and Switzerland in these past three weeks. I played football, for example, and I celebrated with the fans from all over Europe. Over the past few weeks I learned a lot on my steep learning curve and the Euro 2008 lesson is the Austrians and Swiss are pretty good hosts and the Germans are pretty good football players. Now all we have to do is wait and see if they are good enough to take home the Euro 2008 trophy.